If you talk to any successful graduate who once walked the halls of Miami-Dade College, they might attribute their success to the college as a whole. But often forgotten are the individual leaves that make up the eminent tree that's MDC. Those leaves are professors who are responsible for not only preparing students for the workforce, but also shaping minds and guiding thoughts. Many of those professors have a way of connecting with their students on levels beyond academia. I spent a day with one of those dedicated professors, Associate Professor of Mathematics Alina Cornell, who I found to be quite a comedian and one of this year's gifted. Oh, um, yeah, it's kind of scary because you go out, you meet somebody, they're like, oh, what do you do for a living? So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a teacher. And then, it, you know, next question is, what do you teach? And I'm like, oh, geez, you know, so I'm like, I teach math. And, you know, you never get, oh, wow, I, I did real well in that. You know, it's always, oh, I really am not good at that. Oh, I had the hardest time. And, and then you just have to hear this poor person's, like, just horrible, disastrous stories with mathematics. So sometimes I just want to lie <laughs> and say I do something else, you know? Alina is a real people's person who always wears a smile. Her personality seems to lighten up every room. She's one of six professors college-wide selected to receive the coveted Endowed Teachers Award. She shares the love of her job and family with everyone she meets. Alina tells me what she felt the day she received the unexpected call. I had, I had just had surgery yeah, in May, and uh, I was in recovery. And I was, it was my first outings with at Home Depot when Dr. Ferretic called me. And um, he called me and said, you know, this is Dr. Ferretic, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to be one of the first people to congratulate you on your award. And for a second, I said, is he, are they playing a joke on me? You know, that's not, that was my first reaction. It's like, Jeez, is this really Dr. Frederick calling me and that I really got this? Because it was, I was, I was in shock. Because like I said, you, know, you come in, you do your job. So you're receiving this award now. What do you think separates you from other teachers? What, what, what gives you that special edge? I think a lot of times, and at least I'm, I'm talking from professors that I've had in my past, when they communicate, they communicate at such a high level that really it, it, it's a burden to the student because the student is not at the same level as the professor. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking to me here and my knowledge is here, I'm not gonna understand what you're saying. So what I try to do is I come down to the level I think they're at and I communicate with them using the same lingo as they use between each other, like when they explain things to each other as a basis. So how do you keep your students motivated? How do you keep them interested in, the, in, in math? Every time I go into class, even though I've been teaching for Oh my gosh, 20 years now? You know, I, I need to be excited about this material that I've taught a million times before. So the way that I get excited about it is finding different ways of delivering that information. Change is a word that describes Alina's teaching methods and the effect she's had on the lives of many of her students. She tries to be a role model to her students, many of whom are burdened with problems going far beyond the equal sign. By stepping away from the podium, Alina shows her students that she too overcame obstacles. She's a confidant who demonstrates that victory is within the mile of an education. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times that students come to my office to talk to me about everything but math. And I think that's even more important than, you know, quote unquote, teaching your topic. Um, because if, if you're there for the students in that capacity and they feel comfortable enough to come and talk to you, you're a resource for them, not just in math, but in life, you know? Alina loves her job and spending time with her family and colleagues outside of MDC. They have barbecues, eat out frequently, and go on bike races. And as for future aspirations. I enjoy teaching math. I think in the future, I would even enjoy more teaching future teachers. You know, because again, when you go into a math classroom, you're not usually going with a positive attitude as a student. And I'd like to change that.